Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima, and if you're unaware, this month is Pride Month, which is why you may be seeing so many pride parades taking place in your city or town. As a gay man, I have to admit, I never used to like gay pride. In fact, I honestly hated it as a teenager and for most of my young adulthood. I didn't see the point. In fact, I was one of those that said, I mean, I don't understand what gay people have to be so proud about. It's just a sexuality. I sometimes didn't want anything to do with it. And even when people assumed that I, as a gay man, would be going to such an event, I was defensive and even mortified to be asked such a question. Hey, are you going to Pride this weekend? What? No, 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 no. God, no. Why not? I mean, I just, I don't get it. And even a straight ally at that point would be like, wait, what? I mean, I had friends of all sexual orientation and gender identities going to Pride. And for some reason, I really, really felt uncomfortable with the entire concept of it. I used to think that Pride was nothing more than an excuse for half-naked men to waltz around and cruise for dick in an open area. Seriously, that's what I legitimately thought that Pride was all about. And for some, it is. But as I've gotten older, I've had this turning point where I realized that Pride has so much bigger of a message than that. I mean, look at me right now, talking about being openly gay on the internet, and I'm not afraid to do so. I'm not afraid to go out in public with my significant other, I'm not afraid to be called names or even beat up at the sheer idea that I'm romantically involved with someone of my own gender. You see, I was born in 1991, so truly, when I was coming into my own sexuality and realizing that... Huh, I think I'm gay. I had no idea that I had been coming into my own sexuality at the greatest time to ever be able to do so. When I was in high school, I remained closeted except for when I finally told everyone in my senior year. Also, somehow I still lost most unique superlative to someone who was supposedly funnier than me despite being the only gay guy who came out in a class of 600 plus. Not bitter, I promise. I had no idea what trials and tribulations had taken place far before I had even been born to make it so that I can actually casually say that I'm gay on the internet. Seriously, I had no idea that people legitimately died for my present situation so that I could work where I work and no one cares at all. That many people have gone through so much for someone like me, a random white guy in America, to be able to openly express who he was romantically involved with. Now, I understand that there's an even deeper privilege at hand here as well. I live in America where same-sex marriage was made legal nationwide on June 26, 2015. There are thousands and thousands of countries out there that still don't legalize gay marriage. I'm not talking about like third world countries like most people make up in their minds. I'm talking about countries like Japan and Australia. So where did all of this hatred even come from? Even as a gay man who was literally living through the thick of it all. I think growing up, I always understood from media that being gay was this shameful hidden thing that people shouldn't be proud of that your life would be a thousand times harder because of it, and you should never choose to be gay, bi, lesbian, or trans, because if you were to, you are basically asking for trouble for the rest of your life. I'm here to say, I think that's a bunch of bullshit. I should have never been ashamed to go to Pride, or mentally belittled those who loved it with all their heart. Instead, now I think, wow, that's awesome. Pride is such an amazing and great thing for people who really need it. People like me in high school who hated himself so much for being gay that he was cutting up his own arms and contemplating suicide. That is who Pride is for. Do I go to Pride now? I'll be honest, no, but it actually has nothing to do with those old thoughts. Instead, now I think, do I really want to go out into a crowd when it's like 90 degrees today? Nah. And that's the honest truth. People who tell me about what a great time they had at Pride or different things that they do at Pride are so awesome to me. I think that Pride is so much bigger than anyone who loves it or hates it could ever realize because at the end of the day, people literally die for those people to be able to march to the streets and showcase to the world that they have a different sexual orientation or way of living than what society views as a norm. And I think that's kind of incredible. So here's my question to you, dear viewer. No matter how you identify or whatever your sexual orientation is, I want to know. Have you ever been to Pride? Did you enjoy it? If not, why not? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. I'll see you guys next week for another brand new video.
Later.